The goal of the Rotterdam Convention is to protect human health and environment from certain hazardous pesticides and chemicals. Um, how does it work? Um, the Convention has a so-called prior informed consent procedure, the PIC procedure. And this procedure uh, allows the international trade of certain pesticides or chemicals only if the importing countries give explicit consent. So this procedure prevents, in fact, unwanted import of certain hazardous pesticides and chemicals. Um, further, the Convention also facilitates information exchange on hazardous pesticides and chemicals. For example, if a party bans a pesticide, this party is obliged to inform us about their ban and we will inform the whole world about this action. So other countries will get to know what was banned, where and why. So that's quite uh, powerful, I think. And besides, if a developing country experiences problems caused by certain pesticide formulation, for example, if incidents happened uh, caused by a certain pesticide formulation, um, they can also inform us about this incident and we will inform the world about this. CRC is a group of 31 experts in chemicals management from all over the world. Their responsibility is to um, undertake scientific review of pesticides or chemicals and make recommendations for possible listing of those pesticides to the Convention. And uh, once they make a recommendation, then the final decision will be taken by the conference of the parties. So they, in fact, prepare the way of listing a chemical to the convention or adding a chemical to the convention. Besides, they also prepare a decision guidance document for each chemical that is uh, included in the convention. And this decision guidance document contains scientific information about the chemical and it helps government to take an informed decision um, to the future use and import of this pesticide. <laughs>